Our fusion machine is the hottest thing in the solar system. My name is Katria Sabin, I'm a development engineer and I work at the UK Atomic Energy Authority. But engineering was, it's always been something that's been interesting because when I lived in Thailand, the only English speaking TV show was the Discovery Channel. So we just watched so many documentaries on everything. I was just super into particle physics. I just, I just found it, I found it like magic. And as a kid, I was, I was always very curious. I just wanted to know more. No, no answer was ever enough. <laughs> so I started looking around and there, there are a lot of apprenticeships out there. And I saw one for UK AEA and I thought, wow, okay. I never knew you could do an apprenticeship adjacent to fusion. Uh, we are currently in the control room for the Joint European Taurus. That is the largest fusion experiment in the world. There are particle accelerators that push hydrogen straight into the plasma so that the energy is transferred, so its motion is transferred to create fusion. And you can see it in the plasma itself. We recently just broke a fusion power record of 59 megajoules. Fusion is the process where two atoms come together and create one larger atom. That's pretty much it. <laughs> but when it does that, it releases all of this retained energy and light. Jet is a donut, a magnetic donut, in, is the simplest term I can give it. It has magnets around it. Those magnets squish the plasma together so that we can get fusion to happen. So when Jet is running, the plasma inside can reach around 10 times hotter than the sun, say. And afterwards, things can be a little bit radioactive. So we don't want people just going in there and changing the tiles inside themselves. That's where we get Mascot to come in and change it remotely. What excites me most about JET is the potential that it unlocks. When we get fusion on the grid, it will solve so many problems for humanity. We will no longer need to fight for fuel. We can have a much greener planet. And this is what all of these scientists and engineers are ultimately working toward. We're doing things that are expanding the breadth of experimental physics as well. Not only is it good, it's also just really interesting. <laughs> Engineering is important because it creates those physical changes. It creates those changes that make us comfortable in the future. It also feeds our visions. You know, we want to expand into space, say, or we want energy that is clean and abundant. Engineering is going to be the force that takes that from concept to reality.